I was a through and through nerd when I was younger and I always loved science. Uh, and for me, the, the biggest challenge was people's mental health. Um, so I came to behavioral science through psychology and I spent close to a decade in that field. Uh, and then I realized, well, actually, a huge proportion of treating mental health involves getting people to change their behavior. You have to get the, pe the person experiencing the issue to fundamentally do something different. And that really got me started thinking on, well, how do we change people's behavior and why is this so hard? If we all know what we need to do, why don't we do these things? Uh, and so I started getting more and more into the behavior change space. And then I started hearing about this great organization, Behavior Works, and all the different projects that they were tackling uh, and sort of steadily started getting to know people and post PhD, here I am. Uh, so I, in my early 20s, I was making that decision between do I want to go into clinical and be a, a psychologist or do I want to do research? And research was really calling my name for some reason. Uh, so I, I went down that avenue, I started doing a PhD, looking at mental health problems and how we can treat them and what's happening in the brain, uh, what do we want people to do differently. And that was at that point of my research and my PhD that I thought, okay, this is really interesting. And if you can get enough people to behave differently, even just a little bit, the impact of it is massive. And I found that fascinating. Uh, and so that's really what started calling my name and how I ended up in behavioral science. The biggest challenge facing behavioral science for me, I mean, obviously there's all the, the, the ongoing problems with you know, health and climate crisis. Um, personally, I think rather than it being one particular problem, it's the, the, the pace of our approach that is the biggest challenge. There are so many issues that we need to tackle quite urgently. And whilst there are other challenges in the behavioral science field of improving our theories, improving our frameworks, um, tackling the, the method in which we work, the, the approach we take, I think really the biggest challenge is just the pace of our work. We need to move faster to keep up with the scale at which the problems are growing. And how do we do that? How do we pull our resources so that we can work more efficiently and faster? How do we you know, bring different scientists together? How do we enact policy change? How do we get the general public to shift behavior and, and care about these problems? Um, it's really that the pace at which we're working needs to pick up if we want to keep up with the challenges that we're facing in today's day and age. When you have millions and millions of people who all face different barriers, have different capabilities, different levels of knowledge and understanding of an issue, and you're asking everybody to vote on the same thing that affects them to different degrees, democracy can be really challenging <laughs> to have people change to address ongoing issues. It's, it's not a straightforward solution, but again, that's a, that's a real problem. And so how do behavioral science, how do behavioral scientists look at the system that we're in and work with what we've got to work fast enough to fix these issues? We all come from diverse enough backgrounds to have diverse enough skill sets, and we could all benefit from learning from each other more and working together more. Um, and it's, it's not just behavioral scientists. This is a problem in science in general is that we operate in silos and we do our own independent tiny little research and we're all uh, fighting for the same funding, fighting for the same grants. It's a byproduct of the system that we're in uh, that rather than being able to collaborate as easily and work together and pull our resources, we're sort of forced to fight for these individual bits of money um, and individual bits of research. So if there was one thing that I could say, if we had all the wonderful behavioral scientists in the world together, it would be, well, how do we use that system so that we can actually work together on the same issues faster? And that's what we do at BehaviorWorks is we have 17 SDGs. How do we tackle them?